Well, we've already started off this morning with some areas of rain showers and definitely cloudy skies. And as I'm talking to you right now, there are more rain showers pushing into the valley. One of the areas that's probably already seeing some more of the rain is here in Warren. Uh, the rain showers mostly confined uh, to the uh, for right now up in Trumbull County. And so we could go ahead here and uh, take another look at uh, sort of uh, the Lake Club. Not seeing any of the showers there right now, just cloudy skies. Temperatures, though, it's still warm out there to upper 50s, especially for this time of year in the morning. As I talked about, rain showers really pushing into Trumbull County. Also starting to see some in Mahoning as well. And you can see there's a lot of rain back off to uh, the west here that we're going to see throughout the day. The future tracker shows this here. Rain showers primarily pushing into the valley after about 10 o'clock. That's kind of the time that I've been talking about. But then they'll be with us pretty much throughout the rest of the day. Temperatures kind of in the mid 50s by this afternoon. 55 degrees or so by 2 o'clock. Then still, the chances of some showers will continue into the late afternoon. The sort of the coverage of the showers will be a little bit more sporadic, but they'll still be there. And notice by 4:30, some 40s starting to show up in Trumbull County. That's the actual cold front pushing through our area, and it's going to bring uh, cooler temperatures for later on tonight. Still a chance of a shower or two by 7 or 8 o'clock, and then temperatures for the rest of the night kind of dipping down to right around freezing with partly cloudy skies. And then Throughout the day Saturday, we'll start off with some areas of cloud cover, and then the clouds are going to kind of go away uh, by Saturday afternoon. We'll see some mostly sunny skies, but definitely cooler. It'll be good to see the sunshine, though, after the rain that we're going to see. Future rainfall, just like yesterday, the model's showing kind of right around half an inch of precipitation, maybe a little bit more if you get under some of the heavier shower activity that's expected late this morning into the early afternoon. It's not going to put a huge dent in the rainfall deficit, over an inch and a half rainfall deficit at the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport and it's been an incredibly dry November until today. So today is going to kind of put an end to not only uh, the above average temperatures by the end of the day, but also the dry streak that we have been on. Wind outlook here. We do have wind speeds around 15 miles per hour out of the south and west. Could see some gusts up to 25 miles per hour today though, so it could be quite blustery at certain points in time. Throughout the day today, highs kind of in the mid 50s. We actually probably already achieved our high temperature after midnight tonight and then rain chances staying pretty much throughout the day until around 10 o'clock or so then the rain tapers off but that's when the colder air comes in and it's this cold air here that's going to be around pretty much as we head throughout the rest of the weekend we're going to see multiple days where the temperatures start off in the 20s and we're going to see that here in the seven day outlook 46 Saturday 49 on Sunday Sunday probably going to be the best day there partly cloudy 46 Monday then I'm tracking another storm system next week that's going to bring some good rainfall on Tuesday it'll be or will kind of be on the warm side of the storm until uh, later on in the week Wednesday Thursday of course Thanksgiving's Thursday some cooler temperatures show up high temperatures in the 30s and even the chance for a few snowflakes to fly.